Everybody say read aloud, read aloud, say read aloud, read aloud, say R E A D aloud, R E A D. Everybody say read aloud, read aloud, say read aloud, read aloud, say riggedy riggedy read aloud, riggedy riggedy read aloud. All right, guys, today we're going to be reading Max and the Tag Along Moon by Floyd Cooper. It's about a grandfather, grandson, and the moon above them both. Max loves his grandpa. When they have to say goodbye after a visit, grandpa promises that the moon in the sky is the same moon that will follow Max all the way home. Max watches during the car ride and it's true, the moon tags along. But when the sky darkens and the moon disappears behind the clouds, Max can't help but wonder if he has left the moon behind. Where did the moon go? And what about grandpa's promise? All right guys, read along as I read please. One night, as Max was leaving Grandpa's house, he reached up to give Grandpa a big hug goodbye. In the sky behind Grandpa appeared a big, fine moon. Look, Grandpa, the moon. That old moon will always shine for you. On and on. Grandpa and Max gazed quietly at the big moon t together as it embraced them in a soft light. Max smiled at the moon and Grandpa, then climbed into the car. Bye-bye, Grandpa! Bye-bye, Moon! As the car pulled away, Max kept his eyes on Grandpa until he disappeared from sight, and all he saw was the moon. Max kept his eyes on that moon, waiting for it to disappear, too. The long ride home was swervy, curvy, this way and that, all the way, and the moon seemed to tag along. Max giggled as he watched the beautiful bright orb flip, flicker through the passing trees, trailing behind the car as it traveled home, this way and that way, playing peekaboo. Up a hill, down a hill, the moon was ever there. Over a bridge, around a curve, the moon bounced along. Around a tree, past a field of sleeping cows, the moon stayed quietly with Max. Through a small town with roundabout streets, Max gazed as the moon kept up. At the mouth of a tunnel and out the other end, Max smiled when he saw the moon there waiting. Dark clouds tumbled across the night sky. The stars and nightingales all faded away. Max searched the darkness and wondered, where's the moon? Grandpa said it will always shine for me. Finally home, Max took one last look up at the empty night sky. I guess that old moon couldn't shine for me all the way home. Upstairs in the bedroom, the room was dark. Max felt alone. He missed Grandpa. He missed that tag-along moon. Then slowly, very slowly, Max's bedroom began to fill with soft yellow glow. The clouds faded away and the moon peeked through. Max gazed up at the magic ball of light and thought about what Grandpa said. That old moon will always shine on for me, on and on. Max knew that then, whenever he saw the moon, he would think of Grandpa, on and on, and he slept soundly, embraced in soft yellow light. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed Max and the Tagalong Moon. All right, get yourselves ready for bed, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>